Hey guys, Carlos from Spark again. Uh, I want to spend a, a couple more minutes now discussing some other hip mobility drills. Uh, so since we've been making some videos, people have asked even more questions about like, well, what else can I do to prepare my hips when I'm training? And so uh, super important, our hip mobility is uh, vital uh, to allow us to uh, frame properly, to move properly when we're grappling. So uh, here's three new moves that are going to show us the, uh, the way uh, uh, to get loose. Uh, so the first move, uh, super simple. Uh, we're going to call it a duck, sit, and pivot. You can do this in standing. Right now we're going to show this in, in a, a sitting position. Uh, you're going to set up with your feet in somewhat of an L position. So my left foot is now facing forward and my right is 90 degrees away uh, from my other side. And I'm going to pivot. I'm going to turn towards that side. I'm going to slightly load my front foot and I'm going to open the back hip. So I'm going to open it as far into 90 degrees as I can providing the stretch and the mobility on the backside hip. I'm gonna pivot so I'm facing forward. I'm gonna pivot away, okay? As big a 90 degree angle as I can get to, right? So once I'm here, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pivot open again. Each time you pivot, you're mobilizing that backside hip. You're uh, working on your uh, single foot stability because you're kind of shifting your weight a little bit, so that's very important. I, I might do two or three of those on each side uh, before you get training to get those hips nice and loose. All right, move number two, uh, real simple. This one's a little bit more of a ballistic movement. Uh, it's gonna be um, a little bit of a gasser. So if you can do two or three of these things without feeling like you're a bit winded, uh, more power to you. I don't wanna see you on the mat. So <laughs> we're gonna do, we're gonna get into push-up position and we're gonna jump into um, kind of a straddle position. So we're here, my push-up position is nice and strong. My hands are heavy. And then when I'm ready, I'm gonna jump so that my feet wind up outside of my hands. One, two, to here. I can stand from here and do any number of other drills. For right now, we're just gonna hop back. My hands are heavy, okay? Up, and then back down. I can add push-ups, I can add all kinds of upper body exercise. Uh, another addition, uh, really simple, is to do this one leg at a time. So same push-up position. So I'll start here, my hips slightly low, so I'm actually already stretching both hips. And then in one motion, switching the side. Switching the side, okay? again. A set of five or six is plenty. Uh, this is all meant to kind of prepare you for the hip mobility that's required when we're training. Uh, so that's another great move to give a shot. All right, move number three uh, is somewhat of an isometric kind of activity tolerance uh, drill. It's a bit of a hip mobility. You can turn it into a lot of different cool things. Uh, essentially, it's just a side plank with the top leg performing a couple different mobility variations. Uh, the bottom leg is gonna be working pretty hard to maintain your stability, as is your shoulder. An important thing to set up when you're uh, doing our side plank is that the arm hit and the elbow sort of line up in a perpendicular line. Um, so I'm down on my side, but I am not in a 90 degree angle of this shoulder. That would be about here. And I've already got some compression in that shoulder. It always is it's not very comfortable. Plus I'm not super strong there. So I'm gonna get over top of that arm, set up in my side plank. And for right now, I got feet on top of one another. If this is uh, too difficult on my balance, I might bring my feet into tandem or tandem forward, okay? Either way, kind of works. And what we're gonna show you now is a couple of variations on that move. So we're gonna be in that side plank again. Your feet are on top. I'm gonna take that top leg, I'm gonna position it way out in front, trying to maintain this uh, belly button line, my chest line straight ahead, and I'm gonna bring it back. This is the tough one because you wanna roll out. That's this left shoulder working, that's this hip. We can do variations where that hip is, uh, the top leg and hip is coming into elevation. We can add rowing, we can add partner drills. Well, lots of different variation for that one. Again, it's gonna set up nice because uh, so much of jujitsu is framing, using those shoulder muscles isometrically. Uh, and so this is gonna drill uh, just that technique and get you ready to roll. So that's three other movements that you can do uh, before you roll or between training sessions to get your hips nice and loose. Um, these are things that come to me via questions from my training partners. So if you have questions, please feel free to comment, like the video, share the content, and uh, let us know what you want to see, uh, and it'll be on our next uh, set of videos. Those.